Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your November monthly reading. Begin right away with an oracle card. See what your main vibe is for the month of November 2022. For my fire signs, see what's going on for you guys. Oh nice, happiness. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. Beautiful beginning. Dolphins could be your spirit animal for the month of November as well. <clears throat> Excuse me, but just doing the things that make you happy, that bring you joy. Surround yourself with people that make you laugh. That bring abundance into your life, abundant feelings into your life. Alright, I'll continue with the general tarot. Which I will clarify with another tarot deck. And then I'll finish off the video for you with two more oracle cards. With my new lighting, you can't really see this as well. It's a bit better. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> oh wow, justice comes out right away. I love that for you. So there is going to be balance coming. If you're dealing with anything within the legal system, I feel like there is really going to be a win for you. So that's really positive. Sagittarius. Sagittarius, November. Eight of Pentacles. So you're focusing on your craft. You're focusing on really fine-tuning your art, going back to school, and you're really focused to have a really positive energy going in this direction. You could also be focused on this case. I'm feeling legal vibes for this reading with that justice card we pulled in the beginning. Let's see the past or outside influences. For such Ooh, the lovers. So I want to pull one more because it could be you're going to court with a past love, but I want to pull one more card to clarify that. Cluster outside influences. Seven of Wands. So now you have to protect yourself from this fiery energy. There could be people around you wanting to get your attention or if it's to do with something to do within the court system, it could be to do with your assets which is really intense, I'm feeling. Could be to do with an old love, past relationship with the lover's card coming in there too. So that could also be causing you some stress. Let's see the blocks and the lessons. Page of Wands. So you do want to bring back your enthusiasm and your fire. You want to take those steps to move forward. Whatever it is you're studying here or focused on is bringing you a lot of joy and passion. So I really like that for you, whatever that is. It's different for everybody. For me, it's tarot and yoga and hiking. For some examples, the emperor is in your blocks and le lessons, <laughs> excuse me, section. So there could be a boss or an authority figure that's really causing you some angst, some worry and they're preventing you from feeling like the page of wands in a way they are trying to take their power almost to a place that is not it's just not cool <laughs> let's just say that it's not cool sag all right, I'll clarify that after. Let's keep going. It's a love reading for you. Let's see how your person is feeling for November. How are they feeling about you? King of Swords. Okay, so they definitely see you as being on top of your game. You're really... What's the word? It's like when you're that wise... I don't want to say old man because that's not the vibe I'm getting, but you're definitely wise on top of the mountain, really having that higher perspective. So, and it's above the lovers, so they're getting a higher perspective about the relationship. 
They're a little bit though on lockdown with their emotions I'm feeling. They're really stuck in their head about things, thinking about you. Definitely thinking about you. And they're trying to find out how to bring balance into the relationship. I feel like that's really what the King of Swords is wanting, that balance for you and your vibe. Because the Six of Pentacles is above the Seven of Wands. So you're kind of in your own bubble, you're doing your own thing now. Okay, let's see intentions. Let's keep going. I'm sucked into the story. Yeah, you're the Queen of Swords. And your emotions are also on lockdown. You guys are going through something. It doesn't have to be legal or within the courts. It's just an intense situation that's there to bring balance into your lives. It's about the Justice card. And beside the Six of Pentacles. So I do see that coming. And I do like that for you. Yeah, the star. You'll get new inspiration. You'll get new information as well about things. Moving forward, you'll get more information about whatever's happening. Two of Pentacles. So message from the universe is to find that balance between your work and your romantic life. Like find time for joyful moments because it is above the page of wands. That's my card of joy, of movement, doing things that bring you into that flow state and bring you that passion and that fire. Seven of Swords, yeah, their shady business about this emperor. It's above the emperor card here. I do feel that now, for sure. Clarify that for me. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too shady for you guys in your life, however that fits. Hopefully you're not the emperor doing anything shady. If you are, that's something to think about. But I really don't feel like that's you at all. Everybody who watches my videos are coming from a heart space. We feel like that's the vibes we're attracting here. <laughs> Five of Cups. All right, I'll clarify with the Everyday Tarot. And the Five of Cups for me is saying that you are focusing a little too much on the past, the cups that have spilt, the things that brought you that sadness, and it's time to turn around and see the cups that are still there, the abundance in your life that's still there, the things that are going well, and moving forward. Okay, let's keep going for Sagittarius for November. Clarify this reading. Strength card, exactly. Just keep going within your own strength. This matches the Seven of Wands for me, building that protective bubble around you, that strong sense of self, and then you'll really be able to face anything in the outside world, whether it has to do with the courts or not. You'll really be able to be this Queen of Swords, and then moving forward, opening up the emotional space again. But I do like the Queen of Swords for you for now. It's matching the King of Swords energy about the lovers too, so I do like that. Nine of Swords, yeah, there's some sadness and worry and some sleepless nights possibly over what's going on. So that is challenging. Pull one more to see how can Sag move past the Nine of Swords. And it was a betrayal too. There was something shady that happened. So you are moving from the seven to the nine of swords. So at least the air energy is moving up and it did bring you the sense of clarity with the queen too. So I do like that. Yeah, knight of swords, exactly. So just know that the cycle is ending and moving with this knight of swords. There could be a younger air sign as well, wanting to send you a message, wanting to move towards you energetically, or physically for some of you. <laughs> Definitely physically for some of you. All right. I also feel it could be that this Knight of Swords learned what happened from the Seven of Swords. They want to become this emperor, become this King of Swords for you. 
find that balance, but I just feel like it's a process. It's still happening. It's not quite there yet, so patience is always something to work on. <laughs> I know I'm working on my patience all the time. All right, let's pull two more Oracle cards to clarify this reading for you for November. Number 16, come back to center. I do love that. Come back to your happy place, your meditation zone, that place within yourself that really feels peaceful and safe. And also a place where you can get that inspiration with the star card. That's the intentions moving forward, really being that queen of swords, really getting those downloads with that air energy and finding that mental clarity through coming to your center, coming back to what you, <clears throat> what your intentions are really. That's the section of the intentions for November. So I really like that combo with the Queen of Swords and the Star card for you a lot. All right, final message, Priestess of the Light Oracle for Sagittarius, my fire signs, November 2022 to end the reading. Oh wow, Divine Masculine, number eight. Electric active power. I love that. So you are more in your divine masculine with the Queen of Swords in a way because you are being more active in your power. Not as receptive with that emotional cups, but it's more about taking those mental steps and then moving forward practically in the earth element. But I do like that. Could also be an actual divine masculine energy coming your way so that is really beautiful and something to look forward to love the egyptian vibes with this card as well all right is he in the camera a little bit <laughs> let's cover the seven of swords with the divine masculine just transmute those vibes <laughs> All right, Sagittarius, I hope you found some clarity from this one. Enjoy the first half of November. I'll see you for the mid-monthlies and for the extended love readings and then going into December. Bye for now.